All right, here we have the next limited time series. Uh, the final one for the current version 5.6.0 of Real Racing 3 here uh, to win Jaguar XC SV Project 8 uh, plus 70 gold plus 80,000 racing dollars. Now, in order to win this car, uh, you're not actually going to net 70 gold, unfortunately. You have to bring this car's PR up to 66.0 to be able to complete the final cup race. And in order to bring this car's PR up to 66.0, you uh, have to, the, the least amount that you have to spend is going to be 267 gold. So, um, I guess if you, um, well, obviously, if you get 70 of it back, this car is going to cost you, what, 197, uh, 197 gold is the net cost for upgrading this car. There you go. So, uh, yeah, let's jump in. Uh, time trial tournament. Uh, we'll collect that later. Um, all right. Jaguar XCSV Project 8 Championship most uncompromising performance car that Jaguar has ever made. A bold claim. So uh, yeah, let's jump in, find out how this car drives. It is going to be the new format, the 15 tier format, which is turning out to be a lot more enjoyable because it's quicker. Uh, and many of the cup races are relatively short. Um, they don't have like you know, like some of the old ones where they had like uh, some really long ones like uh, some of the Grand Prix circuits where you have to do like six laps or something like that. Uh, that's brutal. I like racing, but uh, eh, for these kind of things, I don't know if it's really um, as, in, as enjoyable. I just don't win the car, you know. <laughs> anyway, so 45 races to complete. And here's the breakdown of the completion rewards uh, divided into quarters. So as you can see, 25% gives you, gives you five gold. And once you get to 50%, you get 10 extra on top of that. So 15 gold there. And the 75% completion is gonna yield another 20 gold. So that is up to a 35 gold at that point. And then of course, we're not interested in any of that. We're interested in the big prize at the end, which is going to um, obviously give us the car plus the final 35 gold to complete that 70 gold reward. But as I said, it's uh, going to cost us 265, uh, 267 gold. My bad. Uh, so we'll start with the endurance at the Porsche test track, the short on-road circuit. Uh, we got the usual message going, all right, and um, yeah. the service time is going to be three hours on this car. With the base PR, we're starting at 52.7, and let's see, 1.20G um, for the grip, and uh, 28 meters for the the braking distance and 3.29 seconds acceleration and 321 uh, kilometers per hour top speed here. So yeah, um, PR 52.7 as I said. Now let's get the upgrades going right away. We're gonna need to get the, uh, let's see, first round upgrades gonna be all cash. Do the four hour wait time on these. So, advanced engine tuning. Uh, I never read these things. Advanced engine diagnostics and tuning for maximum theoretical performance. All right. So let's get that going. 63,800 racing dollars. And then uh, drivetrain, same thing. Uh, ultra lightweight drive shaft. Boost power to weight ratio. All right, sounds like a good deal. Yeah, it's gonna be 
Um, another close enough to 60,000 racing dollars. 59.3k that is. And then body. Uh, this is a one that's going to get maxed out, by the way, since it's got three tiers, and so we're going to have to get all three. Uh, advanced body refinement. Advanced refinements to do uh, to the car's body to decrease drag. Good to know. Um, all right, so yeah, 47, so it's a little bit cheaper. And then suspension, kind of the same deal here. We're gonna have to get three tiers of upgrades on this. Adjustable sway bar. Uh, full adjustable sway bars allow us setup for specific racetracks to improve cornering. All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> Throw it on the car. Sure, why not? And then exhaust and tires and wheels, by the way, on this car. The two tiers are racing dollar upgrades at the beginning, first and second tier. So we're going to have to get both of them more or less right away here. Uh, ultra flow catalytic converter um, allows for ultimate flow and minimal back pressure. There you go. Sounds fancy enough. 53,000. Uh, 800 racing dollars for that and then the brakes I only get it because it's the cheap way to bring your PR up <laughs> advanced brake pads uh, increased brake response and stopping power yeah about what you expect for brakes right um, pretty cheap I think that's probably the cheapest upgrades out of all the all the categories here finally tires and wheels uh, optimize uh, caster tune optimizes straight line and corner in contact between the wheel and track surface all right sounds sounds good to me uh, it just brings up really 0.01 G on this car <laughs> all right so it's just shy of 50,000 racing dollars here all right, so we got the first round of upgrades going. And, uh, oh yeah, and this car is fully customizable as well. Um, the official livery already has this uh, Jaguar kind of painted on here, which is kind of nice. Um, and the official paints basically runs through different colors with the same design. Um, so blue, we got kind of a gray or silverish, uh, I guess, inlay. And then black, uh, kind of the, yeah, similar, like lighter gray type of thing. And then um, kind of inverted version of that. And then, of course, we already know what the orange looks like. And then there's a red, just a slightly redder. <laughs> for lack of a better term there. And then the white, I think this is my favorite. Um, it just looks very clean, you know? Uh, but I'm not going to spend 10 gold to get that for the time being. Oh, by the way, um, back to the upgrade status here. Um, the way you can, you can get three tier upgrades across the board on every category and uh, bring your PR up to above the required PR 66.0. Um, that's going to cost, I want to say 270 gold. Um, but instead of going that route, if you don't get exhaust and, uh, excuse me, uh, the final gold upgrades on exhaust and tires and wheels, Instead, if you bring your engine upgrade up to fifth tier, you kind of reach the PR requir uh, requirement as well. I believe it ends, lands you on 66.2, and you do spare yourself like three gold. So it'll cost you 267 instead of 270 gold. I know it's minuscule, but hey, penny saved is penny earned. And that's coming from a guy who has 
34,000 gold in the bank here. So, um, eh, I didn't get to that count, that kind of uh, gold amount overnight. Um, I cut every corner I can when I have to spend things. So there you go. And let's see, we got the endurance at the short Porsche test track. This is the infinite track, you know. So here, uh, let's hire agent and see if we can. Uh, how far we can go, All right? All right. Maybe I should hire Eric too. Target distance is 5.8 kilometers, but. Um, I'm not so sure if I want to run infinitely here, but you know what? Let's give it a go, see how it turns out. Wish me luck. You're gonna have to cut corners, by the way. And 
just got time for this corner and straight through um, overtake so we get some extra time here to make this run really infinite you do need a good amount of upgrade if not fully upgraded um, so we'll, we'll see how this how effective this ends up turning out to be. Uh, I have a feeling I may not be able to run infinitely simply because of the lack of upgrades. I'm just not going to be able to make necessary passes here. But I'm expecting I'll still be able to get a pretty good distance out of it. seconds at this point is not very good this is not looking terribly promising but that's uh, yes what happens when you're running I guess stock so don't try to do this infinite run without having your car fully upgraded ideally the best one for this one this kind of thing is the endurance race in the exclusive series for Ferrari FXXK obviously exclusive series meaning your car has to be fully upgraded and FXXK uh, a wonderful car to race so makes the whole thing a bit easier to reach make it um, the, into an infinite run if you Get, let's say um, in a couple of days we're going to get the, the double fame uh, daily bonus if you've been collecting every day the daily reward and then hire uh, the agent the target for extra double and that's like a quadruple fame bonus and you run this infinite endurance for a while you get a pretty good um, return on your on your run I mean it's gonna be really long but you know but you will be surprised how much uh, fame points and possibly multiple level up you get All right, this is not gonna turn out too well down to 30 seconds I'm just starting this lap so a couple of takeaways number one you need a fully upgraded car or something close to it to achieve the infinite run because obviously you can see it's not gonna happen when you're running stock the cars that you have to overtake are just going to be always too fast. You know, your car is not fast enough to make it into an infinite run. But um, this is how you would achieve it if you're curious about how to do it. Once your car is either fully upgraded or relatively well upgraded, then um, you should be able to make this into an infinite uh, run where you just keep going. And by the way, let's see, Type 1 to 5, the one that we just had the limited time series for before this one, right? That one uh, has, of course, the, the bonus series, Exos Experience, right? That one has one of these races. But for Crying out loud, don't use that one. None of those bonus series are gonna be paying you enough to make it worthwhile versus the limited time series and exclusive series or the main career series do pay out a lot more. So it makes your time a lot more worthwhile. <laughs> In this case, that was pretty dismal because I only got 20.7 kilometer. Uh, 
but hey for the sake of showing you guys what you would have to do for the infinite run because I've had some people ask me about that and cars in perfect condition on top of that check that out so anyway there you go uh, first one down um, and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>